Well, the incident I was involved in was um, I was going around a, a long right turn down the hill and there was an island in the middle of the road and I overcompensated to like go too far on the left side of the road and my front left wheel clipped the kerb and gripped onto the kerb and so it dragged up the both steering wheels to the left towards the, towards the pavement and the steering wheel came out of my hand and about two metres later there was a signpost in the uh, pavement and I hit, my car hit that but it hit it right on the sensor, the sensor for the airbag and so the airbag came out and I couldn't see where I was going um, I, th I think I scraped along a wall a bit and then it just kind of messed my car up I was coming out of college one evening and the car had to come out of nowhere it's like full power into the back of me doing like 30 or 40 I was just like stuck in like traffic coming out of college and so obviously like I had a mate in the passenger seat and we was like what was that like, just a massive we took a massive bang and like, we jogged forward so I got out of it and had a look and uh, someone had driven right into the back of me and obviously didn't want to look in where he was going I don't know the full story of it but this uh, it was like the third one in three years and there's a massive loss to everybody but again Pete being a young driver got a lot of the blame. Uh, when I found out about the crash like, my head well, just gutted because I lost the mates and that because uh, I'm friends with his family I felt like, really bad for them. Um, Just kind of shock and like just seeing, I wanted to know who else was involved. Um, it could be, it's a lot easier to have an accident than I thought it was. Before, I thought you had, it had to be quite hard to have an accident on your own without anybody else to like kind of make you have an accident, but it's quite easy just to lose concentration for a second and can't go at all. I think it takes. Like, that when you start driving, I think until like you're in an accident or your friends are in an accident, you don't realise how dangerous cars are. I don't think young people will take enough care on the roads. Um, at the start, I don't think they do. But after having an, a small incident, like I don't know, you pull out on a car or something, and they use their horn, and that, and it kind of scares you, or you have an accident like I had, then it kind of puts it all in perspective that it's quite easy, easy to have an accident. Young drivers, I think, on a whole, get a lot. People expect them to be inexperienced drivers, and they always always say like, if they crash in, it's because they're driving too fast, trying to show off, or that they just ain't got the experience to be out on that. So I think they get like, not abused that way, but not given much chance. I think young drivers sort of have a bad image just because of a certain feel. They sort of get picked on more, at higher insurance prices, and always blamed for crashes where. Especially from driving experience, like old people are definitely are dodgy on the roads. From my opinion on um, younger drivers is that uh, there isn't a particular problem. And if you look at statistics um, over fatal crashes, and that doesn't include serious injuries, so I'm talking about actual fatal crashes, um, they don't feature particularly highly. People can just sort of paint them with a brush and they don't really stick up for themselves, you know what I mean? It's harder to say anything against it. Like, if you're a new driver and you want to insure your car, automatically, like, it's a couple of grand just to insure it, like a little car, just because of the fact of your age. Whereas if you're really old, it's really cheap, but they're less as, as likely, or more likely, to like, cause an accident. The impact, obviously, with younger people is more because you've got parents still involved, and whereas older people who are dying haven't got the parents, Maybe have children, but they're a bit more resilient. There's nothing worse than losing a child or a younger person. So, I reckon that when it comes to a certain age, they should sort of have to redo the sort of just redo their license if they're sort of sort of got potential of causing being dodgy. I don't think, and this is only again a personal view, is that we don't put enough emphasis on what goes on on in our roads. Um, people generally, as a public, want to see antisocial behaviour reduced, you know, and moan about the kids kicking the football around or whatever it is that annoys them, noise. But we don't tend to want to to look at how people are driving seriously enough for my liking. If I got on my soapbox, I think we should test people every five years personally.